Hey everybody, I have an unrated 15 plus 10 on the board and uh, my opponent's rated 10 10. I've started with d4 because I'm going uh, away from my normal repertoire. And what are we going to do? The Let's push c4. Why not push c4? Get the knight behind the pawn. A very standard opening could go a bunch of different ways. Okay, so this is a Queen's Gambit declined situation, the martial defense. Um, I guess I could take. See, if I take and knight takes, that's all right. I can bring my knight out anyway. If I take and queen takes, I can hit the queen. So let's do it. Okay, we have knight takes. And now if he trades off again, I've just got a pawn center and he's got nothing out on the board. Yeah, I just played a uh, a rated rapid game. It's a 10 plus 5 against somebody rated 800 who uh, took me to pieces. And uh, yeah, so I'm convinced that was a cheater and have duly reported it. Okay, um, I can grab the center e4, hit the knight. Again, if knight takes, then we just promote b pawn to c pawn. And again, we've got the better center. There we go. I mean, look, good control here. And this bishop's not going to have much fun trying to find a an aggressive place to be. Yes, I'm quite happy so far. I think bishop here. Probably d3. Ah, the pawn move. And not a great... I don't know why he's done that. Is the idea to bring the queen out here? Um, let's do this. I've always got option of knight e2 as well. Defends this pawn. If the queen comes out to a5. Otherwise knight f3 is good. Even maybe f4 and knight f3 behind it. You know, what's better than... Good control of the center is super duper control of the center. All right. Another pawn move. I think I should probably develop. Um, but I've also, I've got queen h4 check, h5 check, blocks. But if I take and take, there's this, this so this is one of those situations where you, you have to play it through. So if I allow them to take, I recapture the bishop, that's fine. If I move my knight out, take, take, I've won a tempo almost, you know. Um, even knight here, but I think knight on f3 looks probably fine. I'm a bit on the sleepy side today, so I know I'm not on top form. Weekend's over though. Opponent is from Korea, I think. South Korea, yeah. Okay, they're taken. And now look, two, two nice pawns and two pieces out on the board. Black has no development whatsoever and an isolated king's pawn already. Aside from that, because of this, I have a really good outpost on e5 for my knight if, if I want to take it. Now, this is a, a move, it develops, hits the queen. Black can block. Then putting two attackers on the bishop, I could then push my queen if I wanted to. Uh, but I think, well, maybe let black move his bishop first, because I could always just drop it in here and prevent castling. So let's get, let's get castled now, and then we'll think about taking the attack to chair try, share try 12-12. <laughs> He's lost his F pawn already. I think just left the queen. 
So we do have an increment on here. So the, the, the important thing is to secure a better position, even if it burns time. What you cannot do because of the increment is allow yourself to get into a, a poor position in an ending. Okay, takes, takes, queen takes, check. That's forced. I then have a dark squared bishop and a knight that can come flying in. So let's play that through. Duh, duh, duh. There's nothing that can block. Queen can't get in. Okay, so king here. I can come in with my knight threatening mate on h7, at which point the rook can't lift because it's actually undefended. I'll have to be the queen coming up onto the seventh rank. Or is something like this? Is that good as well? Let's think. Bishop there first. Let's say rook moves. Takey, takey, takey. Then the rook can actually lift. Because it would be going on to a square where it's protected, whereas here it's not. Um, takes, takes, queen takes, king h8. Knight in is kind of obvious. But also, maybe just bishop here. Let's do it. The pawn's defended. So this actually, if the king goes here, that'll just probably force the rook there, won't it? Knight here and, I don't know. That is a thought. That is definitely a thought. Knight in. So I'm not only threatening this, Okay, but after knight in, he's got to bring his queen up to seventh. So it's got to be one of these moves to defend the h7 square. Now I do have two attackers on this pawn. So if queen goes here or here, is she still defending that pawn? Um... Yeah. Okay, so check here just doesn't work. Rook can take. I do have another check, though, which queen can block. I'd like to get my bishop involved, because I've just not got enough attackers to finish the job here. Um, so I've got bishop here. Bring a rook over there. What's the quickest way to lift a rook? Doesn't take three moves. One, two, three, but that is mate. So I think that's probably worth doing, actually. I think I have time to do that. I'm not worried about this, I've got check. So I think I think this is the way rather than rather than here. The reason is it got it can push the pawn and defend that. Can he? Okay, so that is two attackers, but it is defended twice as well. So I think I can still just pull this move. The knight's still defended, because I haven't blocked the bishop. You take, bishop takes. Actually, also, queen takes rook, as in queen takes rook takes, takes, but then the rook falls. That's just an equal trade, isn't it? But this is now the threat. Rook takes knight or queen takes right. Knight just doesn't work, so the bishop. Sometimes you just need a brutal attack. It doesn't have to be pretty. I mean, this is basically a ladder mate. Yeah, queen can block, but then rook takes queen as mate, so. I think black really needs to give up. In fact, even if rook takes knight, it's the same. I can just play rook h4 check, then the only legal move is this. Rook takes and it's mate again, I don't even have to recapture. I can leave the queen hanging. Okay, but now... 
check and okay, I guess you've got king there. Ha. Huh. Then after this, what happens? That's interesting. Well done. Um, right. And there's two attackers on there, so I think I just have to trade. I don't think there's any way around that. That was good play by Black. I don't really think that through too hard. Okay, I've got this check. The knight's defended by the bishop. If the king comes here, that's then two attackers. Well, I can always stick a pawn in there as well. Um, opponent has sent a crying face. Don't know why. So here. The so king approaches the knight. I'd like to take that as well, okay. I think we just have to do this. That pawn is defended anyway. This, two attackers on the pawn. Hmm. gonna do why did he send a sad face did he I can't see if he blundered anywhere okay well I have a fork king and bishop I think that's worthwhile I'm a pawn down at this point immaterial um, well actually I'm a bishop down but I have two more pawns because of that trade. That's basically what I did. I traded my bishop for two pawns. So. Other than that, it's all good. It's all equal. Now, king can't go here and can't stay there. So he does have a few choices. Now, does this remove the defender of the bishop? Yeah, either. So the king can't stay on the seventh, right? The, all he's got here, the only other way to get out of check is that, and then takes and takes, and the bishop falls. So I think this is a medium strength, removing the defender position. Definitely interesting. Takes, now if king takes... And I'm also forking the other bishop too. So, uh, yeah, I've regained. So now I'm a uh, material is equal, but I have two more pawns. So pieces are equal. And I might I might just choose to take out the, uh, the remaining bishop as well, actually, because it's free. So bishop here on this diagonal might give me this square. Actually, if king in, yeah, I think I'll just have to desperado take a, a pawn on the way out. Okay, now we reassess. We don't panic. We chill. So we've got basically, well, two passed pawns here that really need to start shooting up the board. So let's just make it make a start on that. This pawn's undefended. Oh, that's it's okay. It can. Okay, just gonna just gonna charge for it now. This is the major imbalance in White's favour. I also have a bishop against the knight, so the knight, especially stuck there in the corner, very sluggish piece. Let's bring the king in to support the pawns. We shouldn't really need much more than that, to be honest. Just keep pushing. The closer that pawn gets, the more danger black is in. And the more it's going to force his hand. F4, G5, G6, something like that. King up. Just defend. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we're up pawns, so let's trade off. Got this. Notice this pawn's now pinned. So if that I can't take, that's my concern. Wrong move, I think. Okay, let's play a forward check. These side-by-side -side pawns are nice because they guard a lot of squares. The king cannot then get through this. Is he going to come forward? Is he going to go sideways? Is he going to retreat? Sideways. Okay, now if he comes here... I just think I'd like to get my king off out of this pin. So let's say I push. Is that too slow? King here. No, because he's never going to capture the pawn with his rook, so I have time. And I think just something like f5, g6 really pressurized this. Okay. So, okay, hang on. He might take there. Um, missed that one. That's actually quite a threat, so let's drop down. Pawn takes, so now actually the rook has to retreat because it can't stay where it is or go to b3, so yeah, he used to go back and then I think I'll be able to take the pawn swap off and that's okay. Just pushing everything up now. Oh, well, I missed that. And with check, okay. Hmm. See, so definitely not firing on all cylinders today. But we had a late night last night. Bishop's also guarding this pawn chain from the back. It won't be once I stop moving on to light squares, though. Notice I can potentially skewer the rook, so he needs to be careful not to put his knight or his king on this diagonal. Okay, so rook takes, this is fine. Now my rook is kind of freed up as well. Um, I can play it here, for example. Pin that pawn on the king. Just make life difficult. Rook's now not on the dark square diagonal. Let's defend the rook. He's got this, and then something like this, maybe. King has to defend the pawn as well. Check. He's got that. Okay. I said I had this move. Check here, I'm not too bothered. Okay, now it's a critical point. So what you have to say to yourself now is, okay, is this guaranteeing a winning position? And I think it is. Because I know my bishop can take out this pawn. Because the king can't guard the, both of these squares, right? Now, the question then is, can a king and three pawns overpower one knight? And I believe we can. So we're going to try it. 
I'm simply going to push up and line weight for this pawn. If he wants to try and dislodge my bishop first, I'll just zip over to here. So I could even play my bishop to here and guard the promotion square, ready to snatch it off. I'm pretty certain the knight is just going to fall over its own feet trying to manoeuvre around, defend three pawns at once. I'm not even sure it could do two. I think this is lost now for black. Yeah. Now he has to push his king forward to defend the pawn anyway. He can't just push on. But I just have this, really. Threaten to queen. The knight can't go to this square. And if the knight takes, I recapture and queen on the next move. Unless he does this, in which case I just snatch it off. Okay, he's sacked the knight anyway. So now this is completely lost. That pawn moves, it dies. Uh, let's go here. I want to get my queen onto this square where it's covering that same diagonal. Okay, and now queen can capture. And okay, fair enough. Fair enough, game over. Yeah, good game, well done. Um, it's actually mating three from this point in time. So let's say if king a4... Oh, I have just queen straight there, defended by the bishop. If queen a... Uh, sorry, king a2... It's meant to be mate in three, so one forced two check forced three. Yep. Yeah. Nice puzzle actually. So mate in three from here. After this, and I will add it to my mate in three training. Okay. So there you go everyone. Um Interesting little game. I'm gonna I'm gonna analyze it, see if I can pick out any nice tactics as well for further training programs. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.